all right so yeah i've been gone it's been a minute since i made a video with covid and everything else that happened like you guys know the used car market just went absolutely insane uh, trying to buy stuff to flip just wasn't an option anymore uh, i was also focusing on school and everything else um congratulations to me i graduated uh july of this past year um of 2022 so i'm done with that so that gives me a little bit more free time but i also have a new addition to the family um so i've been kind of busy with that uh but yeah so after where i left off we got rid of the excursion um sold that um we also got rid of the wagon um, shortly after that, within a couple months, I actually found a vehicle um, that I've always really wanted. So I purchased a vehicle, but then I found out I had to wait eight months because it wasn't old enough to bring into the States. It was imported. Um, this is, I'm going to show you the vehicle here in a minute. Uh, but that's another reason why it took so long. I picked up the car in July of 2022 as well um, from the port in Texas and uh, finally got it registered and all the stuff done. In Texas, we have to do a VIN inspection, which is uh, they just, I guess, make sure a theft, the car's not stolen or something overseas. Um, very simple, but there was only one person in my whole area and it just kind of became an issue trying to get it all Situated, but I got that done and the car is registered ready to go. So this is a 1997 Volkswagen Golf variant, which obviously stands for the uh, wagon uh, It is custom painted a brown metallic pearl uh, This car was originally silver it's our ACT three-piece uh, wheels um, They're the SX. They're also they're made by um, who is it? Uh, not BBS. Uh, I'll put it on the screen. I can't remember who the manufacturer, but it's one of the top European manufacturers. You can see there's a little bit of swirling in the paint. I'm going to go ahead and paint correct it here soon. Um, but yeah, so leather, factory leather interior. Um, this one is also a VR6, so 2.9 liter VR12 valve VR6. Five speed manual, has a small little hitch set up, but I'm going to take that off and get the, some exhaust work done. Um, so yeah, these are actually very hard to find. Um, there's, I couldn't find any exact production numbers, but they're, it's very low production number-wise. Um, they didn't make, even even for Europe, Europe, they didn't make too many that were actually synchro all-wheel drive um, with the VR6 and a 5-speed manual. Um, the majority of them were TDI synchros, um, which was on the list because you guys know I like TDIs too. So I'll get inside here. This is gray leather interior, factory MK3 leather. Um, a few little things here and there but for the most part it's actually in really good condition um the back is also in very good condition but door jams painted and everything the only thing that wasn't painted was the engine bay so i'll show you guys that now yeah so aftermarket headlights um we got the um the french yellows um those are actually an upgrade as well VR6 front lift splitter um, is 2.9 VR6. You can see the silver towers and stuff, which is the factory. I love the car. Just have to do a few little touches here and there. Um, you know, put my spin on it. I want to rebuild the wheels and a couple other things. But we'll discuss that in another video. So bought the car in November 21. Car had to wait until July of 22 before it was exactly 25 years old because it's based off the build date. So this car was built in uh, July of 97. So. Um, but yeah, was able to get it in here. Runs great. Didn't haven't done anything to it. Uh, the wheels I added actually. Um, it originally was on uh, these 20 or, or 18 or 19 inch Mercedes Benz wheels, but I didn't like them, so I actually traded uh, a different guy and, and gave him cash for these uh, before it left Europe. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.